Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eat News. How are you doing today? Well, I'm just gonna change the aspect of this channel a little bit. Maybe a little. I don't know. Maybe I've been doing it and I haven't been paying attention. But I'm just gonna say what's on my mind, to be honest with you. And uh, if people like it, that's fine. People don't like it, that's also fine. You know, I'm gonna try to make some money to survive, basically, and that's what I'm trying to do. But, um, in all in all due respect, I, my treasures are up in heaven, in my book, and, uh, there's a far, far, you know, fine line in the sand, you, you know, when they draw the line in the sand, you would you cross the line in the sand? Well, my fine line in the sand is my treasures are up in heaven, and the Lord has paid his, and the Lord Jesus Christ has paid its ult ultimate s sins of all of us, and he took it upon himself for whom to believe, and... You know, work, I believe works. Mm, when they say works, you know, get to heaven with works. I believe in being a good steward to the earth. I believe being a good person in general is a good thing to be because, you know, it's good to help people out and good, you know, not get taken advantage of. But it seems like me all the time you take advantage of. But yeah, that's fine. I'm not complaining because my treasures are up in heaven. And unfortunately, if I die, you know, you have to die to get up to heaven. Unfortunately. I do like the earth. I do like being around people. I do like being around good people. I not suicidal whatsoever, but you know, it comes to the point that are you happy with your life? You know, is is there any meaning left in your life if if you died tomorrow? Could you sit down and look at the ceiling or look up at the heavens and said, "I did the best I could, Lord." Could you do that? Oh, there's people are contacting me. Hold on, it's my bank. Now, uh, as I'm saying, you know, frankly, people say, "Mole, I'm very uninteresting," or "I'm like mold growing on the wall," or "I'm very dry," and stuff like that. You know, that's that's fine by me because I am a I have a dry sense of humor. I I'm just an easygoing guy, which. I don't really care anymore about things, you know. People are in people in Africa are dying. I heard there's cannibalism going on in um, Africa, but they don't really want to talk about that. They don't really want to talk about a lot of things, to be honest with you. It seems like we just have to tote the party line or tote this line, tote that line. How about the line of humanity or like the line of? Peacefulness. The line of, I had enough of this bullshit and just let's try to live and love each other. You know, where was that line? Oh, that line it should not be crossed because, or that line should not be brought up because if people start thinking for themselves and start doing, you know, gardening or enjoying being around animals or, you know, getting your hands dirty and planting a, pot a potato plant or a, a tomato tree, you know, a, a, a tomato plant or something, you know, I mean... You know, they don't want that because the reason why they don't want that is because they're not in control. And if they're not in control, then they basically have nothing to live for, basically, in their mind. It's all about total control. And that's how everyone is like. And there's some people, like family members and other people in life, want you to stay alive because it makes them look like, oh, at least I'm not like him, and... Basically, when you're gone, that means they have a very sad, pathetic life, and they have to come to realize of that life, and they're just putting their aggression upon you because it's easier to put it on someone else than themselves. And that's basically how it all goes, you know? And frankly, I don't care anymore, to be honest with you. I can die tomorrow, I can die today, I have no idea. Don't know when my time is going to come, really. A lot of people, like, you know, I had a doctor who said I had five years to live a couple years, like, seven years ago. And I'm still alive kicking. I'm feeling really well, so. Who knows what the hell's going on? I thought I had a near-death experience for this couple, uh, seven months ago. You know, I thought I was going to die. The doctor's like, you're not looking that well. You know, eight news, you're not looking that good. And, uh, he said, I give you probably two years to live. And now I feel freaking awesome, and I got off a of freaking McDonald's Burger King. I started making my own food. I started going to the, in the backyard, planting tre um, trees to uh, gardening, and it became fun, and I enjoyed doing it. 
and I actually found a new aspect of life. So, frankly, if I died tomorrow, at least I had fun when I when I had. But frankly, you know, it's uh, we don't know when we're gonna die, and uh, don't let people put you down. Um, don't let anyone walk all over you. Let actually, if they want to walk all over you, do it to an extent. Know your boundaries. They cross all well those boundaries. You ignore them for a while. And then you explain to them why you ignored them. And they probably have no idea why you ignored them at the end of that. It's kind of... They don't know their own well-being. <laughs> why did you not talk to me? Well, the reason why I'm not talking to you is because you're a psychopath. Well, whatever. But, anywho. It's just me and my thoughts. And this new thing is just going to be... Whatever comes out, I'm not going to talk about the news. I'm just going to say what I see. And what I feel like is going to happen and how things are just going to go completely out of control. And uh, until next time, this is 8 News signing off.